What's going on guys, Skit Gaming here, and today we'll be back in Blood and Iron. This time we're taking a look at the artillery class. Since the beginning of time, armies have driven weapons advancement in an effort to gain the advantage over their adversaries. One of the earliest mass-used gunpowder weapons was the Chinese Fire Lance, a spear with a primitive powder charge strapped to the tip that would discharge flames and pellets up to an effective range of 3 meters. The Fire Lance was succeeded then by hand cannons, which gave way to the classic artillery we know and love. By definition, a cannon is a heavy projectile weapon that uses propellant to launch larger charges than small arms, and at greater ranges. Cannons were used since the 13th century as anti-infantry weapons, and then as siege weapons for knocking down walls. By the time of Blood and Iron setting, the Napoleonic Wars, cannons were widely used throughout Europe as land batteries as well as naval armament. Becoming an arty man is quite simple. All you gotta do is click into the artillery tab in the equipment selection menu, pick ranker, and you're all set. Cannons can only be used by artillerymen, and they aren't too difficult to figure out. Grab a shot from the box lying adjacent to the cannon, then load it into the barrel from the front. Once that is done, use your ramrod to pack the charge inside the cannon. Finally, stand on the black circle to enter the gunnery interface and use WASD to aim, F to fire. Keep in mind that you'll need to clean the barrel out before you can load another round. The cannons in Blood and Iron are capable of firing two different types of ammunition, round shot and canister shot. Round shot is your stereotypical cannonball, extremely accurate and powerful. These are best used to destroy enemy fortifications and cannon emplacements at long range. Grape shot, on the other hand, is a mass of metal balls packed into a bag, which resembles a grape cluster. This kind of ammo behaves more like a shotgun, devastating at close range but much less effective at a distance. For this reason, it's best to use grape shot on enemy cavalry and foot soldiers who are advancing towards your position. There is a wide spread, so the closer your target or targets are, the more likely it is you will hit them. Cannons are very heavy and therefore slow to aim, not to mention the time-consuming reload process. This can't be helped if you're alone, but often there will be two-man cannon teams, where one aims and fires while the other reloads and protects the emplacement. Sappers and riflemen are also very useful to have around, because they can build anti-cavalry spikes and sandbags, or snipe enemies getting too close, respectively. Do not be afraid to back off the cannon if death seems imminent. Let your teammates repel any attacks so that you can resume your job as fire support. If you die, there's nobody to operate the cannon. You are indeed equipped with a sword. If an enemy comes to attack you, I suggest you use it instead of trying to bop him on the head with your rammer. This concludes the basic artillery tutorial. If you liked the video, leave a like on the video. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Skit Gaming, signing out. Goodbye.